what is going on with the hair today? Hello my YouTube videos, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another colorful look using the Morphe Dare to Create palette. This is the 39A palette. I am now inspired to start doing more colorful looks for you guys. You guys seem to really enjoy it and it is so out of my comfort zone to play around with color and I want to get better at it. So I'm going to be attempting a halo type eye. My inspiration, okay, is this shade right here. I'm going to be doing a halo with this shade, possibly this one, and maybe this one as the darker parts in my eyes. So that is the look that we're gonna go for today using the magentas and pinks in the palette. But before we jump into the video, be sure to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on my future videos. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. First off, whose idea was it to wear a sweater when I'm filming? Cause it's, I'm under really hot lights. Guess that was my decision. Like I said in the intro, I'm going to be using the Morphe Dare to Create palette specifically because this palette has so many different shades in here. This is a great palette to start playing around with color. My eyes are primed. The rest of my face makeup is done. I did film another video, so that's why all of my face is done. But let's start and go ahead with, let's do like maybe the shade in the crease just to give, oh, oh, I almost dropped it. Just to give a little bit of definition. What colorful looks do you guys want me to do next? Is there a color scheme that you would like to see? Like blues, greens, oranges, yellows. I'm going to start building this shade up kind of in my crease now that I have a crease shade down. I'm going to take... A dense brush like this. This is the MAC 217, I believe, and take that magenta shade. Only taking a little bit on the very end of my brush. I'm gonna start building this up in my crease. I'm just taking this back and forth from the very outer edge of my eye to the inside of my eye. I'm gonna take the same shade, do the same thing on the other eye. Oh my gosh, it's so pigmented. I'm pressing very, very lightly. Make sure I'm not putting too much pigment down. I'm not taking this too far up onto my eyebrow, kind of keeping it lower into the crease. All right, we're on a good path so far. I'm going to take that pink that I just used, this magen magenta, sh Ugh. I'm going to take that same magenta shade that I just used, drag it more on like my outer V right here, and bring it into the inside of my eye as well. Taking it on the outer V and on the inner part of my eye is going to start that halo effect. Next, I'm gonna go in with a darker shade, probably try this one right here it's the color right next to it and take a more condensed brush maybe like this one take it and put it very slightly on the outer edge because it's a little bit of a darker shade i'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye where i placed that room magenta shade originally doing the same thing on the other eye Chris was so curious when I brought this palette out. He's like, what shades are you going to be using today? Now I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm running out of small brushes here. Let's do this tiny little brush. Take the darker shade right next to it. It's a darker purple and pop that even more densely in those areas that we put the darker pink barely tapping this on my brush putting in the outer V and then on the inside of my eye as well I think the key to doing halo eyes is not rushing the process like if you start out with a lighter color go darker and then darker it's going to look a little bit more blended than if you just went in with a dark shade I'm keeping that close to the outer edge right there. I'm gonna take this dark purple shade that we used and carve out like right here and follow my crease ever so slightly with it. I'm 
gonna go back in with this magenta shade make sure that that is blended out all right so you see how I have a little spot left in the center of my eye that's what we're gonna put a different shade in maybe like mm, a really pretty shimmery pink or a gold so I carved out the crease on this side and then I'm gonna go in with that same magenta shade I'm gonna take this brush one more time, take this lighter red shade, do the same thing where I carved out that crease, just to help blend the colors a little bit. Go ahead and intensify that dark purple that we put, outer V. and on the inner corners as well. That's what it should look like before we add the center lid shade. I'm gonna take, let's try this one. It's a really pretty shimmery pink shade. Put it right in the center of my lid. I'm gonna use my finger. It's not as pigmented as I would like it to be. It's just like not doing what I want it to do, that shade. I don't know how I feel about that shade. Like on my finger, it's really pigmented. On the lid, I feel like that's not really the case. I mean, it's it's going a little bit more. I'm gonna go back in one more time with this blending brush. I don't know, at this point, I'm just packing it on with my finger. I'm gonna go back in and add that dark purple a little bit more on the edges just to blend that shade in with the shade we put on the lid. I don't think that looks too bad. Then I'm gonna take that glitter shade on my finger one more time. Really emphasize that on my lid. Did get some fallout on my face. I think I'm gonna leave the halo here cause it's kind of a subtle halo, but you can tell. I'm gonna take probably this dark purple and smudge it underneath my lower lash line. The same one that we used on the outer V and inner part of my eye. making sure that the edges right here on the outside of my eye come in and meet my lower lash line. Now I'm gonna add some liner to the top of my eye, but only a little bit because I don't wanna cover up the pop of color in the center of our eye. I'm gonna see if I can use this Kat Von D tattoo liner. It's completely rubbed off. And I don't even know if there's any in here. There's like a little bit. I'm gonna leave it like that and not do a little wing. I did drag this side up because they both are kind of winged up. So I'm taking just a brush with some like dry concealer on it, carrying that up to lift the color a little bit on the side. Let's do the other side. Oh, look at how nice this looks, guys. I'm gonna take a black liner, put it on my waterline. Then I'm gonna use some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I'm using this up because it's open. If you use falsies and that works for you, this would be a good look to add falsies with. Oh yeah, this is badass. Just coating my top and bottom lashes with mascara. Here's the finished look. I added the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Gemini. This is a great nude. It's kind of like a darker mauve nude, but I think it really went with this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying these bright and colorful looks. And also leave me what colors you want me to play with next because I'm happy to kind of make my way around the rainbow and do different looks. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.